guys, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can sell your e-commerce products in a recurring subscription. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're gonna want to do if you don't haven't already, is go ahead and add a shop to your website. So we're gonna come over to add, we're gonna go to store, and we're gonna say add to site. Now this is gonna add the shop to your website and it's also gonna add a couple pages. The main ones being the shop page and it's also gonna add the, the product page where they can add the products to their cart and it's gonna add various other pages like the cart page, the thank you and several different member pages. But for this tutorial, what we're gonna do is go ahead and click on the product element. We're gonna say manage products. This is gonna open up our list of products in the dashboard and you can either add a new product or you can edit an already existing product, which is what we're gonna do for today's tutorial. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this product right here. And let's say you wanna sell different shoes every single month and people can subscribe to your shoes on a monthly basis or something like that. This is kind of a random product, but we're just gonna roll with it for now. If we scroll all the way down to the bottom, you're gonna see an option for subscriptions. So we're gonna go ahead and say, create a subscription. Here we'll be able to name the subscription. We'll just call this one new month, new shoes. And for the tagline, we can say something like subscribe and save 15%. And down below that, here we can set the frequency. So since it's a new month, new shoes, we want this to be on a monthly basis. The duration, we can set this for a three month, six month, nine month, or we can set it to auto renew until the user cancels. So we'll go ahead and select that option. Down below that, we can actually set the discount for the users who are subscribing. So since we said 15%, we wanna switch this over to percent, and we're gonna set a 15% discount, just like that. And we can go ahead and press apply. If you wanna have different subscription models, you can do that as well. But down below that, you can say offer this product by subscription only, or you can have the users subscribe or just buy that shoes for that month. So let's say a user doesn't want to subscribe every month, but they want, they really like the design of that shoe for this month. So you want to give them the option to purchase that one at the normal rate of $85. But if they subscribe, then of course they save 15%, making it $72. But now that we are done, we can go ahead and press save. Okay, and if we go back over to the editor and we look at the product page for shoes, we're gonna notice right here that the user will be able to purchase these shoes at a one-time purchase, or they can buy the subscription, which will save them a little bit of money each month and they will get a new pair of shoes every month. Now, if we open up the settings right here and we go over to design and subscription, here we can set the price placement from first to last, which this one is my preferred method because typically you want to push the subscription first. That way the user is more inclined to choose this option. And then we can also select the color for the background of the selected box. So just for fun, we can go ahead and set this to blue. And if we go ahead and press preview and we select one, you're gonna notice it has a nice blue ring around it. But let's say someone places an order for the subscription model. What you're gonna to want to do to manage that is inside the dashboard, if we go over to the option for orders, here you will see a list of all of the orders that have been placed on your website. But if you come over to more filters, go down to subscriptions and you check orders with subscriptions, here you will see all of the orders placed with subscriptions. And if you see one that's unfulfilled, you can go ahead and click on that. And here you'll be able to add a tracking number or even create a shipping label. And if you want to, you could also go over to the top right under order info and cancel the subscription or down below. You can also edit the shipping details if needed. But that's basically all you will need to know about how you can set up and manage your reoccurring product subscriptions. If you found this video useful, please consider giving this video a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you all again, and I'll see you on the next one.